Chat, have you heard of the trolley problem? It's quite simple. A trolley barreling down the tracks at high speed comes at a fork in the road. On the left side, five human beings. On the right, one. What do you do? If you do nothing like you were never there, five people die. But does that one man deserve to die based on your choice? My chat is saying to drift and kill all six. Psychos. <laughs> we're gonna find out today in a video game version of the trolley problem. People say it's an unsolvable problem. Today, I'm going to solve it. Here's a real issue. Imagine a train hurtling down the tracks. On one side, you could subscribe to Atrioc. And then the other side, the train barrels through your house. And it also psh, lights a fire, burns down the entire block you live on. Boosh, boosh. Oh no, oh crap. Oh, chaos spreads. All of a sudden, Western society starts dissolving. Power's down to the White House. They don't know what's going on. Launch the nukes. They must be under attack. Launch the nukes. All of a sudden, nuclear war. The end of human civilization because you didn't hit the sub button. Two options. Let's go. Ready for ethical decisions? Nothing my chat's better at than ethics. I'll save his life. <laughs> Only if he primes to me, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky this time. 71% of you let the bystander get hit? Yo, 71% <laughs> of humans just let this guy die? This is, this is bad for society. That's not even the trolley problem. That's just like save a man's life. A woman is about to get hit unless you switch tracks. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not a woman hater. I just, <laughs> I just like, I'm not going to kill this guy. I'm not a... <laughs> 80% of players save the female bystanders while 20 Okay, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Chat let a man die for no reason. But if there was a woman dancing like this, you killed this guy. <laughs> so this is the classic. <laughs> I mean, I I guess I was gonna kill him! No! I was I was waiting! That's my bad. <laughs> That's a massacre. <laughs> Chat's gonna vote on this next one. Workers in the main track, bystanders dancing on the other. Who do you kill? Let's see, you guys call me a murderer. I'll, I'm so interested to see what you'd be doing. Someone said, if you kill the workers, the track will never get finished. True. You'd hate to impede capitalism. Holy moly, this is the, this is the closest fucking one. I have to give it to switch. Kill bystanders. These poor dancers who were not in the way. By the way, these guys signed up knowing the risks. Murderers. All right, do we kill this punk or this old lady? He's got more to live for. <laughs> the truth, here's the truth that I figured out. I don't have to worry about the trolley problem because I would never ever get there in time. I would be like, oh fuck, they're gonna kill five people or, or no one? Wait, which lever? <laughs> and it would, be, it would be over. The next situation is different. Instead of deciding where the trolley will go, you will decide if you should stop it. This will destroy the truck. It's gonna kill five people. <laughs> Only 34% of people save the workers? Wait, someone said if you stop it, crunch traps go up 10%. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kill the workers. I, I don't want I, the prices of the. If the goods don't get there, the prices go up. Oh, man. I guess they're safe. If you activate the world impact icon, the man on the bridge will be pushed onto the track. Will you sacrifice one man to save others? I didn't even see it. <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> The menu took too long. I was reading it and the fucking truck barreled over nine people. Time to role play. Okay. This person is your high school bully. That's right, Derek. <laughs> Shouldn't have been standing there. Huh? Track team seventh grade? Made fun of my half mile time, dude. It was pretty fast. I had shin splits that season. This guy's a drug addict. So is this guy, dude. <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> This guy just uses cheaper drugs. Let me tell you, these guys are both using. The Wall Street motherfucker on the left probably does more. A ticking time bomb of sorts. Let's add some abstraction. Look at this lovely scene of people waiting at a station. It would be a shame if something evil happens. <laughs> I'm a little worried about what you're saying, but okay. Oh no, a terrorist has rigged the trolley to explode when it reaches the station. Will you torture the terrorist to stop the bomb? Yikes, <laughs> it's getting serious. <laughs> well, the, the problem is... <laughs> Imagine this is like a kid's game. Imagine this is Roblox, dude. <laughs> Uh-oh. Elsa's been kidnapped. <laughs> the terrorists are going to behead Elsa and Spider-Man unless you can torture them. Will you violate the Geneva Convention? Oh, shit. Do I torture him? Fuck! 20th is what Jack Bauer felt like. <laughs> Atrioc Bush. <laughs> 
Now I'm fucking Guantanamo, dude, because I, I was just trying to save people's lives. I saved lives. You need me on that wall. Now, I have learned from the show Heroes, save the cheerleader, save the world. So if I save her, I'm really saving like 7 billion lives. So no, and this guy's also not really a good fire because he's dancing. He's more like a stripper. <laughs> My queen. <laughs> Clowning around. Ha 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 ha. Should I just kill a clown? <laughs> Society is one big joke. That's the plot of The Joker, by the way. If you haven't seen the movie The Joker, I just reenacted it. That, that was it. That was just, I was I played the role of society, and that was Joaquin Phoenix in the role of Joker. I just saved you two hours, dude. That just that, that was the movie. Brought to you by corporations. This person broke into a house and stole things. This person forced large companies to lay off hundreds. That's a smart business decision that raised the stock price of a company I invested in. Not only do I not kill him, I put him on the cover of Forbes. I celebrate him. King! A lovely dilemma. People that love you, people that you love. First of all, why is the cheerleader not on the people that love me back side? She's only on the side of... Uh, ouch. That hurts. After I, I killed a fireman for you. I murdered a fireman for you, and you don't even love me back. Oh, chat on the left? Maybe she'll give me another chance if I kill Chad. <laughs> huh? Cheerleader? I like that I I love the cheerleader and also this dancing old man. When will you stop the rotation? Oh my, I have to choose who dies. Well, if I don't touch it, then it's just a fun game of Russian roulette. <laughs> the old or the young, the old or the young. <laughs> oh god damn. That wasn't revenge. To be clear, that was not I was I wasn't targeted. <laughs> Save a robot or save a human? Do not touch my gaming rig. I'll run over a dozen people to save my 3090 and that's on God. Do not touch the rig. <laughs> Nvidia, Nvidia strong. Pierre Contante, remember that fat man on the bridge? He's back and he has a name. Will you push Pierre off the bridge to save some nameless workers? If I know his name, you'd think we'd be closer. But the fact that I know his name is Pierre means I know he's French. <laughs> so no shot. <laughs> Try being from a real country. <laughs> it's time to get meta. Will you push Pierre off the bridge to avoid the trolley problem itself? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every day of the week, I'll shove Pierre to avoid the... Wait, was I too early? Okay, no, I thought I was too early. That would, uh, imagine I shove Pierre off. He breaks his back and dies. Rolls away. I still kill him. <laughs> Do you prefer long-term or short-term results? This freight train carries a special load. It has the only food for a village to survive the season. Oh, fuck. That's a tough one. Yeah. I just added three more bodies to the meals. <laughs> Dude, imagine, imagine I'm holding the handle and I'm like fucking crying. I'm like, fuck, I have to let them die. They need the food, fuck. <laughs> and then Riser runs him over. Someone goes, oh wait, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> we can just get McDonald's. Like, we can just order. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> we'll just go to the store. <laughs> now there's a runaway truck too. What will you do? Let's find out. All right, go. Oh. He was going to die anyway. Yeah, that was the easiest decision of my life. <laughs> Someone said my kill. <laughs> the guy in the truck. You stole my kill, bro. Your mom and your dad. No. No, this is not fair. This is not fair. Oh, sorry, dad. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I say I gotta say, Ma, dude. We'll always remember my dad's tweets. We'll always remember my dad's single tweet. And that's all that matters. This time, the veil covers one track. It represents people you can't see. The veil people are the same as visible ones. I mean, <laughs> they're not the same. I can't see them. Nothing to see here, boys. Another day in paradise. Accident free here at the train transition, and there's no evidence I did anything wrong. Texting and driving, let's find out. Hey, new phone, who this? You're afraid Dr. Charlie. What's up, doctor? Do you like driving? What's going on? Close. <laughs> Wait, did I just kill someone while texting and driving? 
I'm done. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. No one saw it. No one saw anything. Hey, no one snitch. If the cops come around, I want no snitches.